In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we pull out our Airmar tri sensor while in the water. I can't believe we opened a through haul below the water line while we're in the water. An unscheduled thunderstorm filled our rain catchment as well as our fuel and oil lazarette, so I bring out the bucket of suck. But eventually, we got our ducks in a row. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. What they don't tell you about traveling around in, uh, say, less pristine water than the Bahamas is that the bottom of the boat gets very scungy. That includes a speed wheel on our tri-sensor. We've lost our speedometer, and all we have is our speed over ground from satellite. That's only half the tools I need. It's also our depth gauge and our water temperature gauge, which we've never even had on. So we're gonna give that a shot. Uh, we're gonna pull it out from inside the boat, which has got Lisa very freaked out, and uh, see how much flooding we can get done at the same time as we fix the speed wheel. So what are we doing today, Captain Dave? Today we're freaking out Lisa. And how are we freaking out Lisa? We are going to take out our tri-sensor. We're going to take this sensor out, yes. which is our speed wheel and, and uh, temperature and depth gauge. Yes. And we're going to clean it because the speed wheel stopped working and the depth gauge is um, not very reliable. It keeps cutting out. And tell them why it freaks me out. Well, because the water level's about here. Where is that? About there. About there, and then and then what's happening there? It's going to be in the boat now. Yeah, Sorry. I'm going to I'm going to take this out of the hull of the boat, which is going to open it up. Yeah. And uh, water's going to come in. Yes. Isn't that great? No. Oh, you sure? So, in theory... Oh my god. <laughs> in theory, we're all gonna die. We Our, undo my this. My boat's gonna sink. Oh my god, are you doing it right now? Yeah. You oh. got the camera on it? I'm trying. Okay, let's water the minute. Did you expect it to go that high? The water? I didn't know what it was going to do. There you go. Oh. Now we got some water to clean up, and that's our speed wheel, and I think I know why it doesn't work. Huh. It's got barnacles and crap on it, so yeah, you're going to clean nice. that up right now, and then you're going to replace it, and then, I'll, and then you're going to clean it up. What? What? Wait. I'm cleaning it up. What? So show that show that barnacle grossness again. Speed wheel is completely jammed. Our sensor's covered up. This is why it's not working. So all this has to be cleaned off. Gotcha. Now I won't talk about it. There's not that much water in here. It's ooh. What is that thing? What? Swimming in the in the water there. They're little thingies in the water. You. You, I'm not swimming in this water. Nope. So what do you do with that stick? <laughs> Let me tell you what I'm gonna do with a stick. <laughs> the sensor is all plastic. The housing is all plastic, everything's plastic. So I don't wanna go gouging at it with screwdrivers or anything, um, anything metal. I don't wanna scratch anything up. So I'm gonna use this fiberglass stick, which is something we used to use when I was in uh, the automotive industry. And uh, see if we can't get some of the growth off of this because it's really growth. Gross. It's gross. It's really gross. It's really gross. Okay. So what are they? Are they mini shrimp? Probably. Are those mini shrimp? Probably. Yeah, mini shrimp. Are you recording? I'm recording. Go. And don't you dare flip that at me. You know, I think I might have figured out why this wheel's not turning. Was the wheel moving at all before you started this? Or? No, not even. A, not, not. Not a even. budge. You can't even. Can't even. I know how a dentist feels. <laughs> Dude, floss. Jesus. So is this protected under the water by um, anything surrounding it? Nope. So it's kind of exposed and if that thing ever got damaged, 
We um, put a bunch of water in here. Mark's boat was flooding because it got damaged when he got hauled out. So why is this important other than, like why is this thing important? Well, it does a couple of things. First of all, it measures your speed through the water as opposed to your speed over ground, which gives you an indication of current. It also measures your distance traveled. And why is that important? Well, you need to track your distance. Our engine hour meters don't work, so we can tell by how far we've gone and at what average speed, how many hours we've put on the engines for service. And there's lots of things on a boat that you, you time the service intervals based on how far you've gone. You can't do that if that's broken, correct? Yeah, I've got to sort of estimate it using the uh, using the avionics. This is not pristine by any stretch. Yeah, better than it was. Oh yeah, we've seen worse, that's for sure. Now if I had a place to, I would unplug this without doing major surgery, I would unplug it and uh, take it up and rinse it off, but. Is that what smells? Yep. Oh, good lad. Boats can be stinky. I think it's I got fun. most of it. Oh my God. So that's the threading that goes in to make it easier there, yeah, to get back in? There's an O-ring. I'm lubricating an O-ring. Okay. See. So it gives the a better one. seal? Yeah. Yeah. And there's the black one. Mm -hmm. And the plug that's in there actually has two O-rings. This is certainly not the O-face, but this is the Now there's a directional arrow on it, which I assume is the direction that the speed wheel has to turn. Okay. So it's got to go in this way. It's coming out? Nope. Did you or did you not say this was a five minute job? Which is why I said allow a couple hours. <laughs> got it. You got it. A little bit of brute force and obstinance couldn't fix. That's right. There you go. Nothing to it. Now we just gotta mop it up. Yeah. All right, there you have it. The mess cleaned up and the through hole reinstalled. We got a little bit more polishing up to do in there to clean it and uh, clean off the plug a little bit. And I guess we'll get to test it once we get the shifter cable fixed and we can move. Let's call this one done and move on. Neighbors pulled in this morning. That's a storm cloud in behind them. It's not supposed to rain today. Well, the good news is it's not calling for rain today. We just got back to the boat from grocery shopping. Oh, we can almost see across the, uh, across the channel. a second ago we're 25 knots now we're back down to seven I'm thinking we're in the eye of it and we could not see those warships a few minutes ago those lightning strikes are awful close this right <laughs> this side sucks and the other side blows and this side blows <laughs> The bucket of suck. So if you if you if you try to suck up water through this end, all it's gonna do is blow. <laughs> so, bucket of suck. Suck bucket.
Yeah. Having said that, it's very handy wet dry back. Yes. Our lazarette filled with rainwater. We've cleaned the scupper, but it didn't help, so out comes the bucket of suck, also known as the suck bucket. All independent and shit. <sighs> you want to move your shoe though? Friendly neighborhood crabbers emptying the crab pots. I also made a very expensive run into town to replace my suddenly clamshell style iPhone 8 with a new SE. You know when you're just trying to have your breakfast coffee and the neighbors drop by? What's going on? There we go, boat ducks. Wait, are you, are you still? Are you actually coming up too? No way. Oh my god. Now two ducks. Apparently I'm collecting ducks. Apparently. Hi guys. What's up? <laughs> right up here. It's right up here, babe. Hi. Coming up? Hi, oh, sweetie. Unbelievable. So now we'll be cleaning duck shit off of our boat. Yep. Hi guys. What's up? What's going on? Well, you took care of feeding your morning ducks. Morning ducks. And then it's going to be my evening ducks. Here come the ducks. It's a duck flotilla. Hi, buddy. Are you my duck? Hi. How are you? Ready? Is he good? Oh, look at that tail. Wiggle in that tail for me. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> uh, uh, there's food. <laughs> oh. Hi, new guys. That's nine, we've got the whole flock. 